On a scale of 1 to 10, how risky is anything in this age of COVID-19? Well, here's a quick guide made up from a task force of doctors and specialists in Texas. 14 experts in public health were asked to assign a risk 1 to 10 of activities on this kind of criteria that you see here. They were all to assume that participants in the activities were following safety protocols. Dr. Alozi is on the task force. I, I caution people in saying that this is the holy grail. And so this is a first step to say this at the very least is a guide, right? Use it as a guide, use your common sense, so let's take a quick look at what's on the low end. Opening the mail, getting takeout from a restaurant, playing tennis, pumping gas, camping. But here's what really caught my attention, okay? Sitting at a doctor's office with all of those sick people is up there on the low to moderate risk. While going to the movies and sitting in one of those big recliners with no one else around me is on the high risk. I asked him to explain. So I think one of the things about doctor's offices and even hospitals on average is that they're probably some of the safest places to be in the community. Why is that? Because in these hospitals and doctor's offices, they should be doing universal masking. They should be doing high-end hygiene. They should be doing temperature checking, and they should be exhibiting physical distancing, right? You're not always having that in movie theaters. First of all, it's indoors, air conditioning, somebody you might not know. You have to take off your mask to drink soda, to eat popcorn, to have a Twizzler, whatever the case may be. And so you can see immediately where the components of the package to keep yourself safe start to break down a lot faster in a movie theater than they do in a physician's office. Well, the doctor is all about socializing and living life. He says we need to figure out how to rationally live with COVID-19. And this is all about risk mitigation. Would I potentially share guacamole with somebody that I haven't seen in a month and this is the first time we're eating dinner? No, that's not going to happen. But if it's a family member or people that I'm close to consistently, we're already sharing that social pod. You can find the chart and more of the interview right here in the two wants to know section.